Doc here, electromagnetic theory, the rotation matrix, and trig identities. Before we get into special relativity, I want to show you some neat power of the rotation matrix. Here's the rotation matrix we derived in an earlier video. And if you look at a rotation through alpha and beta, you're doing two rotations to get a total rotation of an angle alpha plus beta. You would apply each rotation, say we're going to do the beta first, since we think from right to left here, working on a, a vector. We do the beta rotation, and then the alpha, and then the total angle is alpha plus beta. But that must be equal to this. And this gives us two identities which are rather difficult to derive in the traditional way. For example, the cosine of alpha plus beta, this term here, is equal to cosine alpha times cosine beta plus sine of alpha times the minus sine of beta, which is your multiplication of matrices. That's how you would do that, and that's what you have here. For this slot down here, we want, let's say, sine of alpha plus beta. Let's go for this one here. So that one there is obtained by taking this one here and multiplying it by this second column. So cosine alpha sine beta plus sine alpha cosine beta. And these are derived so easily this way. By replacing beta with minus beta, you can get then the angles with their subtractions, their identities here very easily. Remember that when beta goes negative, cosine doesn't get affected because it's an even function. The sine of beta will flip, so this becomes a plus here. And lower uh, equation here gives us a negative where we have the sine of beta, which would be this first one here. Uh, this would be uh, the same cosine beta since cosine is even, and the sine function is odd.